What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 4 of my Crystal Palace Football Manager 2019 Let's Play series here on the beta. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you are enjoying this series and want to be seeing more. I did see a couple comments, people were asking for double uploads, so two uploads in a day of this series. Uh, what I'll be talking about now, of course, see, we play some games off camera. It's really hard to do that because of that fact. The way I used to record my videos, I'd record every single game, but people thought it was too slow, and I don't progress through all the seasons and everything like that, or as many seasons as people would like anyway. So, yeah, that will be the thing. I'll record this episode, then I'll edit it, get it uploaded to you guys, and by the time that happens, it's like the end of the day for me. Uh, record my videos during the day as you can see <laughs> it's pretty sunny in Australia at the moment but yeah so by the end of the day it's like it's yeah it's the end of the day so because I've got other things I do with work and not like, outside of YouTube but yeah I did want to let you know the process of making the videos at least because then I go to playing games off camera as well and that takes a little bit of my time at least uh, over an hour maybe close to two hours uh, you see I play these four games because I do other things in between but anyway for those of you guys wondering about that uh, yeah I'd love to be able to push towards that but it's really uh, it's a very time consuming or it takes all the time to produce these videos in all different aspects I did want to explain that to you guys uh, but now we'll round up some results Hopefully you like seeing this and not just want me to get straight into games. Sometimes I get some weird comments like that and I'm like, this is not FIFA, mate. Like, a football manager is more than just the games. And I just explain things at the a couple minutes at the start of the episode, then I get into games. So yeah, it's definitely <laughs> not so much time on it. I try to get into the games as quickly as possible. But as you can see, it was another penalty shootout win in the League Cup, uh, two times in a row, uh, but they were di on the different spectrum. <laughs> uh, last time, nil-nil, this time, and against Newcastle United, 4-4, four, four, you can see crazy amount of goals, and Schlapp got a red card just before the end of 90 minutes, so that was so weird, but hey, you get that in football, you get weird results, and then Wolves, 1-1, one, one, and then we lost against Brighton, 1-0, so I felt, ooh, maybe, like, coming off this great form, honestly, maybe just a bad little patch, I don't know, there was a recent update, uh, obviously, they're going to be updating on the beta almost every single day, probably every other day, though, and, yeah, then Huddersfield were able to get that, I was, I was really... Oh, what's the word? Uh, just going into this next game, that one against Huddersfield, it was so important because of that form. Even just coming from that Newcastle one right there, it's a win at the end of the day, but there was a lot of goals conceded, which I wasn't too happy with. But our training levels have been very nice. Uh, I did post on on Twitter uh, about my training ratings have been pretty good. Uh, more specifically, it was Schlupp. Schlupp has been performing very, very well. Where is he? Where is he? Is Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey, he's been very good within the training. Uh, it was 9 point something. It was like a 9.35 that he got. Um, that would have been one week in the training. But he's consistently, he's been consistent uh, getting those good training performances and results. But see, we do have two big games in this episode. And they're two away from home as well. <laughs> We've got Tottenham in the league. So it's really important. I want to fight for that 7. They're trying to be realistic. Maybe fight for 7th position. Uh, Leicester is up there as that outsider. <laughs> I say outsider, they won a league, uh, the league a few seasons ago. But yeah, and Chelsea um, in the cup. Injury-wise at the moment, uh, Ayu did pick up a little one himself, but he'll be back to full training tomorrow. So no worries there for the games on camera. He'll almost be back. Maybe for the next match, we'll see. But he might need match sharpness. Get, yeah, his match fitness up. Get his match fitness up. So here, guys, we may look to make a change. I'll bring Martin Kelly onto the bench, or I'd want to do that, ideally. It's it's really hard. I'd like our backup, uh, or the players we have to bring on. So I might actually just leave that. And you'll see, see once more, I've already made an alteration. I dropped Milivojevic back to that defensive midfield. He's more natural there uh, for his role, so I put him there. And then MacArthur to come in central midfield on the defend duty. Then I could push Townsend up to the right wing opposed to right midfield. He has a, the more natural rating there as well. So it just it's a good mix together. So that's what I mean with tactics. I'm always I'm always changing little things uh, with the positions and maybe instructions here and there and during the matches as well. So now it's counted as a four one. 2-3 uh, formation, but without wasting too much more time before getting into the first game of the episode, uh, let's go.
Tottenham, they're going in with a real strong 11, no weaknesses. Yeah, probably their strongest 11, uh, to be honest. So they're, they're going strong. They're going strong for this one. I think we've got to say no one expects us to get a result. Just enjoy playing without any pressure because everything else, good luck, we're going to need it. Sounds a bit negative. Or we've got nothing to lose. Okay, we'll say that. Okay, nothing too special. We'll just go to select all players now. Go passionately, have faith in you. You know, they generally get those happy reactions and things have been going along pretty nicely with saying those. And guys, I did want to say, I know these videos like haven't got crazy views or anything like that. It's never really with the case like that in Football Manager. Yeah, that that's not really, it's not like s such a popular game. So you don't see yeah people getting hundreds of thousands of views on each video or something like crazy amount. But I'm enjoying it an insane amount, like more than FIFA. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be doing this, like that. why I started YouTube at the end of the day. I created this channel, obviously, <laughs> by my name, uh, Footy Manager TV for Football Manager. So I think my channels are just, yeah, to pause here, just my channel's in a position where I can focus on that now. And I really want to build that up, you know. Because you can only give FIFA so many chances, to be fair. <laughs> and give EA so many chances. Really. But... They're going to... Ooh, that was a close one. Yeah, we're going to take off some... Yeah, switch between attacking and balanced. And when the game officially release, as I mentioned, and I have it in the description as well, I'll be doing a journeyman, like an Aussie journeyman. I'll be starting in Australia. So that should be interesting. Oh, that's a bit unlucky. Come on. I know going into this one, it wasn't going to be easy. And I probably am not expecting to even get a point from this. I know that sounds a bit negative, and we've been all right this season. Just, yeah, away from home against Tottenham. Uh, tough one, but... Look, when your keeper saves it and it goes directly to the head of an opposition player, you know, yeah, it's probably going to be tough. But come on. We don't want to give up this early, of course. Ward, do something. Oh, that wasn't probably not, yeah, not the best selection. Oh, they're passing decisions. What are those passing decisions? Oh, lucky we make the tackle there. And it might end up working out. So Benteke and Zaha to combine. Or goes back to... Yeah, some of the passing decisions... Yeah... W really? You can tell. I'm just so confused right now. Just all in this play. Their passing decision... Like, I feel like I have to say... That and it leads to a goal, you dumb cunts. Fuck. Oh, my God. Did you see the stu... Now you can see the emotion on my face when I get mad. And... Insult players. <laughs> it's more just... Oh, the frustrating of passes. No. It's already affected us. It's 2-0, but... In possession. Slightly more direct passing. It hasn't been this bad, honestly. I'm going to take play out of defense. I reckon that heavy passing is not really going to work today. I feel we need to... Maybe up the tempo. If we're starting that way, but... I'm just disappointed. Maybe it comes from the pressure. Confirm those changes. It comes from the pressure from Tottenham. I haven't expected that at all. Like, I haven't experienced those kind of passes so far from the team. And that was consistent throughout that play. It wasn't just one bad pass. Terrible. And that led it to a really position now where it's a, we're really in a position where it's going to be tough just to come back to get something from this game. And, like, what are early... When you go behind from a, a corner like that, and we've, wow, wow, we've completely been just killed, <laughs> to be fair, in all aspects, and Tottenham probably deserve their lead, but I'm, yeah, just saying, show me something else, really disappointed, ah, because, yeah, maybe the last four or five matches haven't been so amazing, but before that, yeah, I thought we were playing the best style ever, <laughs> things were going so well that maybe this will turn around, and it shall do, hopefully, Tomkins. That can get, get hopefully get us going. Uh, he wanted to start playing a bit more as well because we were playing Dan. And obviously, yeah, Sako. Sako gets an assist to his name as well. We got that set up uh, to head it to the other centre-back and for him to finish near post. Even if he's a centre-back, he should be finishing there. So, hopefully, we've come out a bit stronger. I would hate to have that nullified. Oh, my God, that was so close. That, okay, like, I don't get the point of this because it's never reviewed as a goal. Like, you'll never see it. I've had it maybe about six, 
seven, eight times at most so far, but it's always just not been a goal. So it's tough here when one of your best players, well, yeah, the best player really for the season, like Zaha hasn't been doing that great uh, for us. Though, I think he's still got more in him than Townsend. So if I, this, yeah, different, it's switching him up to a position he hasn't played as much this season or at all, and then take Townsend off and give uh, Sawlot a chance and see how he's going to go pressing forward, put him on attack. See how, yeah, Benteke and Sawlot go, which makes me think this is where we can change it up a bit. Let's go distribute to target, man. And, yeah, guys, I, I believe, like, I can't see it in the options. And we'll go back to attacking here. But to pump the ball into the box, like, what's that now? So, that's goalkeeper in possession. So, that's not necessarily that. So, in transition and then in possession, there's really, what is it? What's the option? Uh, what's the option? And you could go extremely direct passing. That's just with the, the passing directness. And, the, yeah, there's no other options. So, yeah, please let me know if if I'm just missing something. And I don't think we're going to pass into space as well with those two maybe taller guys up front. And maybe hit some early crosses in. And, yeah, yeah what I was going to do is float the... Get it on their heads. Get it on their heads. But, yeah, like the option to actually choose pump the ball into the box. Is that approach play? So... Yeah, that's, that's all I can say right now. That doesn't seem to be in the tactic selection. But then through the shouts as well, we can push forward. So let's see if this creates something. If we come back to get an equal... Not another corner one, please. Please. <laughs> Maybe we get lucky there. Ah, oh, come on. We need to do something. We, we need to... I've noticed that in a couple games. So when I've needed a goal and I just... The match has kind of ended. Even though there's been like 30, 25 to 30 minutes and we haven't got a chance. So I think we're going to have to take, oh, okay, Milivojevic, and we're going to bring on Maya and going to put him attacking. So we're going actually a bit crazy at the moment, but like this is the thing I've been doing because I'm begging for a chance. I'm begging for a chance to see something, and then MacArthur, I think, yeah, it's okay because you're like, oh, maybe that centimeter defense duty is not the best for creating chances for you. But yeah, hopefully you can see now we're trying to get something. We're trying to get something. And hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. But I feel, in my experience so far, if we don't go this desperate, we won't even get a highlight to see what's actually happening. Which might end up being the case anyway. Crazy. We have one more sub up our sleeves. I feel like we have to make it as soon as possible. Don't leave it too late. And it has to be it has to be a change that can change it for... Yeah, <laughs> that can change the play for us. Berenguer... Maybe not his preferred side or even not the side we're trading him on. This Even this might be crazy extreme, but I'm trying to get him in his best role and put him attack attack there. And the same with Zaha. I know, yeah, that doesn't... I would not suggest to go like this, <laughs> to be fair. But, like I said, it's we're in danger of things just staying the same because we haven't got a high highlight last 15 minutes or so, 20. How long has it been? I haven't... Around 60th minutes. We've had to go this way to get a bloody highlight. Come on. <laughs> Come on. And it's probably going to lead us to conceding. But if I didn't make these... Well, I guess you don't know for sure. But it wasn't looking likely. It wasn't looking likely that a chance was going to uh, be coming our way. So, could be a fact we concede. Or... Or, come on, it's all in the one-on-one -on -one battles. It's all in those one-on-one -on -one battles right now. And we did well. But... Nothing has come from it so far for it to be a good highlight, to be fair. Come on! Bring air! Bring air! Oh, it was. It was, but it wasn't even such a clear-cut chance as well, and that was their one there. And of course, once more, no longer a goal. See? And that would be the last highlight for us, and it wasn't super. But hey, let's see if it's going to bring it now. Let's see if it's going to bring it. Come on. And I know it is Tottenham. Away from home against Tottenham. So it sh shouldn't be easy. Shouldn't be an easy game for us. Maybe we've done okay to still be in it to this point. Late in the match. We're still... See, we're still back to... Oh, that was a stupid slide tackle. But <laughs> we defend it. Berenguer, come on. Let's see. Oh! 
fuck. I thought they were going to stuff it up, but come on. This is why. Look at all the players running into the box. Yeah, so lot. What a goal. And that's why. That's why. See, if I saw someone go tactically like that, I'm like, mate, you're going to concede a goal. You, you stuffed up tactically. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> but what a hit. What the volley, Sorloth, mate. We might be have to, have to play him more, but our forwards have been good this season. Um, of course, we'd still want to try and win, but I don't expect another highlight. Ooh, was Starting with 40 seconds, generally not enough for it to be. I think it's just the end of the game highlight, you know, but you might be surprised. So here, final highlight, but is, that's probably going to be the case. Just nothing to come, but I'll take that unless... So, oh, I was hoping, but yeah. I hate when I get excited from the highlights and I know when it starts, 30, 40 seconds remaining, nothing's going to come. But we saved the points. We saved the points, which is very important. And I think we did well. We, I knew, knew it was going to be hard. I didn't expect it at all. When you go 2 0 down, it's way from home against a pretty good side, one of the better teams in the league. And when we're only having that 35% possession, <laughs> Zaha didn't even, he had his worst game probably for the season. And yeah, I just chucked the lads forward. And I felt I had to do that position wise. You know, I talked about, oh, we can't pump the ball into the box for whatever reason. But I just tried to do it the other way with the instructions, go as direct as we can, um, whipping crosses, and just push players forward essentially. Look at that. Look at the attacking midfield types. We got three in, attacking midfield right, attacking midfield left, see as wingers. And. Then, yeah, May in that attacking midfield position. And two strikers. We had to go that crazy to get one goal back. Which, we did brilliantly to come back, I reckon. Yeah, see, Tottenham's position. If they took that three points from us, yeah, that would have separated a little bit. So, that would have been... Yeah, they could have pushed to where Man... I guess goal difference. But, yeah, they want to be keeping up. Because Manchester United is running away at the moment. So, Alexander Sola seemed like the star of this match. And... He, for us, yeah, to help us come back. But that goal was good. But, yeah, his attributes, like, he's got good jumping reach. He's strong at physicality, very tall. So, <laughs> maybe, yeah, that could be a way to play. I feel we could do that both ways. I feel playing Benteke and he together uh, is very strong. Then, if we go Zaha, and when Ayu's not injured, <laughs> when he wasn't injured, I could play Ayu and Zaha together. And they would do very well. And even Zaha would do well with Benteke. But it's just a real mix. It's a real mix. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, we have that option of going with the two taller guys, the two smaller, faster guys. Ooh, Everton against Liverpool. Everton need to win and Liverpool, that would hurt their chances. Well, I say chances still early in the season. But Everton, how are they going to go? <laughs> Six, I wasn't expecting that. Well, they were really desperate. And just puts Liverpool... In that, for us... To not go down. <laughs> so we stay ahead of Liverpool at the moment, which is which is pretty good. Hey, 10 games into the season, so it's not such like early season form or, you know, like the first few games of the season. We have gone with those changes recently, so it's a 4-1-2-3, but it's kind of adopted that 4-4-2. We've adopted that 4-4-2 for the whole season, and that's what our results have panned out to be as well. Uh, four wins, four draws, and two losses. 4-4-2. Four, four, to have that combination, you see Benteke and Zaha both with the seven goals... We don't just have one guy we're relying on. Having, yeah, two lads with the... I think seven goals in ten. How many have they played each, though? We'll take a look at that. Premier League, six starts only for Benteke, to be fair, in the league. But he's got two in the League Cup, keep in mind. Zaha has started ten in the league for six goals, plus four assists. But as a whole, Benteke has got the best average rating in the team. So he's really... He's stepping up. And that's a huge thing. I talk about how he only has 11 finishing. But he's such a crucial player. To have a player like that in your team is really good because in the situation where you're just uh, getting the ball forward, he's going to give you a chance to create a goal. Opposed to the defenders of the opposing team, yeah, winning the ball back and countering themselves. You have opportunity from that highlight. But Chelsea did get that 3-0 win against Huddersfield, so we still dropped down to that 7th. Whew, that's... Uh, that's probably the position realistically maybe us and Leicester will fight for because it seems like the top 6 will be the top 6. Well, there's Liverpool in ninth, <laughs> I guess. I'm, I'm kind of taking ourselves into consideration, but Liverpool, when you lose 6-1 against Everton, who uh, Everton haven't done great that season anyway, they're probably going to drop too many points. 
And I've been getting some decent recommendations from our scouts. I've been, yeah, bringing some players to us from... Players from leagues, they'll be pretty affordable when they're not in the top like six or seven European divisions. Uh, you can see this guy from Argentina, uh, Javier Correa. He's 26 years old, so a lot of people don't go for these guys. You'd prefer to go for a guy at least maybe maximum 23, 24, so they still have some growth in them. But, yeah, he, he seems at least a prodigy in that league. Prodigy, maybe not the right word, but just like a potential hidden gem. A hidden gem, you can cite a guy who's the he's in his prime if he can come over to England and get the job done is another is a yeah another situation got to see from the scout report we get from him but he's got three goals out of four starts in the league and he's got assist to his name as well he's got very good ratings the start to the season so he's got key attributes in certain areas got a few 15s and 14s there so he could be that good striker along with places shots plays one twos you get the kind of player he is uh, very good technically you can get that passing game going as well uh, when he combines with the other attackers yeah, you could actually see him in 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 our in our uh, in our team. So he's only valued six point five. With a team like Crystal Palace, guys, a type like Pedro uh, Chirivella here, as you can see, uh, he's brought to me again. Uh, they they bring some really good recommendations. This is a time when you got to go for someone like him. Still, you got to look when he runs out of contract. Okay, twenty twenty. So he's not running out just yet to approach. He he's a backup. And that's generally the case. These younger guys at twenty or twenty one, but they want to be breaking through. So we'll get a scout report on him but he's only 3.5 million for a guy that's not going to be completely wanted by Liverpool or right now and you can put that pressure on him if they don't want to sell for whatever reason still yeah you can inc uh, you can really declare your interest and then he'll want to be moving though I don't think he is a superstar I mean he could add to that depth in central midfield he'll be similar to other other central midfielders to be fair played a similar level so I wouldn't say he's a need for us, but if there's a point we need to bring in another central midfielder, if one another one leave, you look James MacArthur, maybe a bit more experienced through the, those mentals. That's in case, uh, yeah, you need to just replace someone. So yeah, just he's a type to keep on the short list. That could be a cheap fee if you want to sign him, <laughs> or if you need, yeah, if you need that kind of player. It's always good to get your short list of those guys. But now we can head into this one against Chelsea. Oh, yeah, <laughs> League Cup. Let's see. Is it going to be another... I, I just don't feel it will be. I feel... Well, what's the chances of it going to penalties three times in a row? Who knows? And is Chelsea in away from home against... For us, so yeah, away from home, not going to be easy. We just saw that against Spurs. See, even now, I'm realizing maybe we'll take out play out of defense and tempo. Maybe a lower tempo, we can start to start matches to start matches off and be more expressive will take off and put on be more disciplined so what i mentioned earlier as well i did in the previous episode about yeah not gonna stay the same tactically <laughs> for the whole season and even out of possession i feel it's a time where we might drop drop that defensive line make that a bit lower as well and prevent short goalkeeper distribution so because this is so early I'm just in the experimenting phase <laughs> of FM19 right now. And don't forget, it's the beta as well. You can't actually see because where my face cam is, yeah, it says this is a beta version. But if you've played FM19, you know <laughs> you know how it is. Just make a switch. Uh, Maya to come in. I just feel he's got more about him. That technique and first touch gives you that class in midfield. But I feel I want his, ref his role to reflect that. So we'll go deep line playmaker, but on support. But no, guys, I'm telling you now, I'm really liking this mix of the player roles and the positions, how we drop Milivojevic back defensive midfielder and then push Townsend up. I just think the setup, it, it really, it fits well. And then you've got Ward, wing back, and then Suari. We can we can really change these specific roles. What do you think is better, full back on support or wing back on support? And then with Ward, you wing back support is his best role. You go full back, yeah. I feel it's just been a good mix for us. Maybe you can see that through the results. But let's see how this one's going to go against Chelsea. And again, it keeps saying this when we don't have one outside the match squad. Because if we click on another player, yeah. So, <laughs> no idea. But this is where we maybe let in slightly. Just ever so slightly. They got this uh, Martson. He's only 16. He's surely a weak link. He has to be a weak link. So we're going to focus play down the right. Go on down that right side with Townsend because he's going to be left back. He's going to be up against him. Oh, I wish... <laughs> oh, I can't exactly work like that. Or could it? 
I'm like saying if Zaha was against him, he will no idea how to cope. But then we'll switch up the attacking width. Maybe put it more more standard. Because then we'll be too narrow if we're looking to play, at least, exploit one wing. So yeah, we can't really get Zaha on that right side, I suppose. Because yeah, then, yeah, where Townsend's going to go. So that's okay, though. Because Townsend, he's more got that experience. He's got that still got 16 dribbling and he's got pace. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget. He's still, fair enough, a decent player himself. Caught up in that, I was just making the changes. Then I pressed the next button. And yeah, we didn't do a team talk. Uh, see how that f pans out for us anyway. Fuck, you idiots. That's a way. That's a way to ruin it. Like, well, let's give him a random injury. Fuck. I get so salty when that happens. If you can tell. Oh, man. It's so random. So early in the game. I know it happens. It happens in football. Just when, yeah, when it does in fact happen, it's very, very annoying. Berenge. That's all we can do, really. So... It's very annoying because you see, you get a bit of confidence, but then you get an injury. It's like, oh, we found something, maybe we can explore. Yeah, just their style. And maybe. Or a player they're playing, and then you get a negative, <laughs> negative for you in the match. But, okay, come on, perfect time to cross against him on that right side. Well, there was a, obviously quite a few defenders there, but. Oh. It's just a long. Oh, the, look, you're missing these tackles! It took about three attempts for our players, and we eventually won it back. So, let's see how we're going to get involved down this right. See, surely, surely, and it almost led to a goal. So, you can see it working at the moment. So, hopefully, okay, Maya. Milivojevic, Berenge, come on. This will be a great start if we find the back of the net. Oh, Come on, come on. Okay, we're winning the battles here. Tell water ball! You gotta report. Come on. Wait, stop. If you're not applauding, <laughs> stop the video. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. That was brilliant stuff. And getting him so involved. Take a look. Townsend, that defender, he's not. He's not marking nowhere near close enough. So, oh, did you see that touch by Zaha, though? That was class. He still had to finish in style, and he did that. But, yeah, guys, that seemed to be a good change we made. We're trying to exploit uh, Martson. I'm guessing how to say his name. Oh! Cahill. I did not expect... The, the corner goals come so quick. You just don't anticipate them. And, yeah, they put the ball in. Then Cahill with the header, mate. His name's Cahill, so he's good with the head. So, you know that. You know that. Maybe not the best Cahill with headers, but he's still pretty good as a centre-back. And, yeah, those set pieces, especially corners, they just hit you. Hit you by surprise. And so quickly. The highlight starts, bang, it's a goal. And then they go forward again. We got to be really... Keeper, do something. He's just looking at it. He's an observator. At the moment... So, they got the goal back. Oh, no. They've got another one. Please. That's the only way you can score. That's the only way you can score. Why do they keep scoring from set pieces? Take it away from us. Take it away from them. Not fair. To be... Come on. Like, I'm pretty sure our settings are alright. Maybe it's something we have to look into. Like, it hasn't been something that's been exploited already against us. You know what I mean? The conceding from corners. I think I've conceded maybe a few, like two, something like that. Nothing that's out of the ordinary. And then we concede two when we look like <laughs> knocking out a danger or a potential winner of the cup. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, we got to dig in. We really got to dig in. Because, yeah, we were looking like we took a lead and knocking out Chelsea is like, it will be a real shock. It will be a real shock for that to happen. Come on, here he is. Maybe he'll do something good attacking-wise. No, he block his cross. And come on, quick, while he's still... Oh, no! You're a... F Are you bloody serious? Fuck. Oh, we were winning. We were winning. Look, just look at this. Milivojevic, just... It passed it to him. 
passed it to him. Yeah, man, just let him... Give him a fucking lead, why don't you? Give him a lead. It's rubbish. I'm not even caring to make changes because we're not going to win this shit. Just going to keep players fresh. And yeah, I'm mad, but... Let's bring on Sola. I can't... I'm, I've, I haven't got the energy in me. <laughs> it's been taken out. From all that rubbish, man. Yeah, let's... Who's going to be important still? Townsend? Uh, he's had a good game. We'll leave him on. Milivojevic. Uh, Swat. Let's just bring on Van Aho, I guess. I'm like... Yeah, we're not going to get a result here. Maybe we just change to attacking, but... Going too crazy. Not too much is going to come from it. Confirm the changes. We got that 1-0 lead. And we conceded from two corners. And then we had a player that essentially passed to the opposition in their box. So they can score. So you can see why I'm frustrated. Can we turn it around, maybe? <sighs> we go so close. But yeah, heaven forbid us uh, beating a, a cup. A potential, yeah, a potential winner of the cup. No way. Because I felt early we we made the best decision to try and exploit the right flank. They had a, a young left back playing. Yeah. Just, you can see I'm just looking in disbelief right now. Because like, oh, But. Can we get a goal potentially and it's saved? No. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. I feel like management wise we did. We made the right decision at the start of the game. And we got the lead. But. Had to be taken away from us. So yeah, that's where it ends. It's a disappointing one. We're out of the cup now. Where it was yeah, a pretty even game, but probably the worst one. Maybe you take the corner ones on the chin and say, yeah, let's try and rectify that. But that pff, terrible decision, and it was Milivojevic, wasn't it? But he's, that's so out of character. I haven't seen him make those kind of mistakes this season. Like, that critical. I'm far from pleased because of that. But it, it's not even at the players. It's how, yeah, the, just the game played out. How they had to make it turn around after that early goal for us. Then Schlapp gets injured only one three one three days. So yeah, I'm just Oh, and I hate when it ends on negative like that, because it's more disappointing. I know, yeah, Tottenham Chelsea, both games are gonna be tough there, but good thing for us. Yeah, we can just focus on our league matches, obviously not in Europe, um, and this is part of where our run is still we've got decent matches, I've mentioned that. Look, we got Everton, Bournemouth, Fulham, Watford, Cardiff, <laughs> Newcastle, Leicester, up until Man United and Arsenal. We've got a good batch of games we can play and get results. <laughs> hopefully anyway. But yeah, that was I know those two together were gonna be tough ones. So yeah, you got a couple tough ones here, guys. <laughs> a couple of uh, tricky matches for us, but I think we actually played alright. You weren't expecting us to win, though, especially against Chelsea. But we target, yeah, that weak area they had, and it looked good. That's what I mean. I target that, and it worked out. We got that goal from that change, you would have to say. And then two, sep two corner goals, and then a goal from my player essentially just handing it to them or passing it to them, which I would... Why don't you just clear it instead? That would be my instruction. So, yeah. There could be some match fixing going on, potentially. That's how crazy it was. I'm not thinking that actually happened, but that's how bad it looked. You know what I mean? But anyway, I had fun still. It was an entertaining game. See, even when I lose, I still have fun with my videos. And then I'm excited. Okay, let's play some more and do another video. I'm just loving making these videos for you right now. Uh, win, lose, or draw. Having a great time. So hopefully you enjoy and leave a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. That goal was stupid, though. <laughs> Match fixing.